Hi, I'm Paul Arevalo, the City Manager for the City of West Hollywood. We're very excited to share with you the results of a year-long study on the economic impacts of nonprofit art organizations. This study is especially valuable because it allows us to focus on a niche sector within our economy that is often overlooked. The study, coordinated by Americans for the Arts, reflects the economic activity of 15 local arts and cultural nonprofit organizations and their audiences. We already know that West Hollywood is home to some of the world's most renowned art, music, and entertainment sectors, but this study provides us with evidence that the nonprofit arts and cultural organizations in our community are a thriving industry for our city as well. They are employers, producers, and consumers of the local economy. To better understand these numbers, it's important to know how West Hollywood compares with other communities of similar size across the country. Our numbers are impressive. We generate twice as many jobs as communities of similar size. And our nonprofit arts organizations generate over three times the amount of direct expenditures in our local economy. Interestingly, the study also surveyed art audiences about the average dollar spent per person while attending an art event. Cultural tourists spent on average over $50 per person and local residents spent over $22 per person. And this does not include tickets purchased. This is where we see how art consumers have a multiplier effect in our community and may benefit other businesses. Whether having dinner before or after an event, meeting with friends for drinks or shopping, even staying overnight, and spending money in a number of ways while attending the arts event. What this study demonstrates is that the arts are an economic engine for the city. But this didn't just happen by accident. The city, through the establishment of the Arts and Cultural Affairs Commission, has a long-standing commitment to the arts. Most recently, the inclusion of an art and cultural element in our recently adopted general plan update further affirms the city's commitment to support and nurture this industry. Additionally, the city has made investments in the city's commercial corridors, Santa Monica Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard, and currently underway in the avenues. This increases spaces for public art while enhancing pedestrian friendliness. This has allowed for some impressive art exhibits, including the Sunset Strip Guitar Town, with 10-foot guitars painted by artists to interpret the iconic Sunset Strip, and On Route 66 Lights, a neon art exhibition of historic neon lights. As the economy began to decline, we noticed that vacant retail spaces took longer to fill. This, while a disadvantage, created a unique opportunity where the City Council created incentives that allowed for these vacant spaces to be used as pop-up art venues. We created an online pop-up arts guide designed as a resource for property owners and artists with tips on developing agreements, necessary permits, and ways to ensure a successful collaboration. Pop-up art spaces provide an exciting new way to market vacant properties to potential tenants, increase pedestrian traffic to surrounding businesses, and allow artists to showcase their work in unique environments and increase art opportunities for the community to enjoy. The City of West Hollywood has also been very proactive in spearheading collaborative relationships with art organizations such as PST. It all started here, West Hollywood Celebrates Pacific Standard Time, in which the city told its own story about its place in this important artistic era of Los Angeles. Projects like this have established West Hollywood as a premier destination for the arts. But perhaps we are best known for the West Hollywood Library Murals, a unique collaboration between Vanity Fair and Cadillac in partnership with the Museum of Contemporary Art and the City of West Hollywood. The project was an extension of its Art in the Streets exhibition, which drew audiences from around the world. This project was a great way for us to promote the opening of a multi-story parking structure and to draw the public's attention to it. It helped us attract interest in the new West Hollywood Library, and the murals have become the way in which the library is identified as an innovative, one-of-a-kind facility. And I'm thrilled to announce that the library murals have been recognized by Americans for the Arts as one of the best public art projects of the year. 
What all of these examples show is that municipalities that commit themselves to the art industry stand to gain positive economic benefits for their communities. Cultural industries create job growth. They turn ordinary cities into destination cities. They create synergy between arts and business and foster an economic climate of creativity and innovation. In conclusion, I want to thank the West Hollywood community for all of its support. I want to thank the West Hollywood Council and our Arts and Cultural Affairs Commission for having leadership in the arts world. I also want to thank staff for all of their work in helping to promote West Hollywood as a world-class arts and cultural destination location. In particular, I want to recognize the great work of our Arts and Cultural Affairs Administrator, Andrew Campbell. Thank you.